Hey guys, it's Jim coming in with another video. It is Saturday. I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. Happy weekend. I wanted to do a video today. I wanted to share with you guys my rookie card run from the Hall of Famers that started their career in the 1970s. There are 17 Hall of Famers that debuted in the decade of the 70s. And I would like to share those cards with you guys. I completed this run a while ago and I thought it would be pretty cool to do a little showcase. So there they all are and I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna take a quick look at them individually. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the newest to oldest. So we'll start off with the 1979 tops, Ozzy Smith, a very condition sensitive card. This one is a bit off center, but not too bad at all. Um, the card is just very tough to find in high grade. This is a seven and it actually looks pretty nice for a seven. So I'm very happy with that one. <clears throat> Next up, I've got one of my all time favorite cards, 1978 tops, Eddie Murray. Uh, just a sweet looking card. I love that image of Murray. It's got the gold cup. All-Star Rookie, Topps All-Star Rookie, and it is in a Nimentum in 8. Very nice condition. Very happy with that one. <clears throat> now I've got a 1978 Topps. Rookie Pitchers. This is Jack Morris's rookie card. Not a real big fan of the multiple player cards, but... <clears throat> They were very popular back in the 70s. As you'll see, there's a number of these rookie cards that have multiple players on them. There is a Burger King, 1978 Burger King set that has Jack Morris uh, on his own card, which is a pretty cool card that I'd like to pick up sometime. Anyway, sticking with 78, here's the Topps rookie shortstops. And we've got two... Actually, now, here's an example where multiple players is pretty cool, even though it'd still be nice to have them on their own individual cards. But we have two Hall of Famers on this card. We have Paul Molitor and Alan Trammell. So pretty cool to have two Hall of Fame players on the same rookie card. So there's that. Now we've got 1977 tops, Bruce Souter. That's an enamment to mint eight. Sudo is just a, an amazing closer. Lights out. Here's another multiple player card. 1977 tops, rookie outfielders. We've got Andre Dawson there on his rookie card. That's pretty sweet. And an enamment seven. <clears throat> another one of the cards that I absolutely love is this 1976 tops, Dennis Eckersley. In a near mint seven i just love that uniform that old school indians uniform looks awesome and 76 tops is just such a nice looking set so there's eckersley in a seven <clears throat> next year we're going to go down 1975 another condition sensitive set 1975 tops we have uh robin yount in a near mint seven so that's pretty sweet <clears throat> then we've got George Brett in a seven. This Brett card is pretty nice. It has a little mark on it right here, which brought it down to a seven because otherwise it is fairly nicely centered. It doesn't have those print defects that are so common in 75 tops cards. And for that little mark that you can't even hardly see unless you look at it close enough. I will take that in a seven anytime. <clears throat> Here I have 1975 tops, Jim Rice. That's an endearment to mint eight. And another 1975. 75 is a good year for, all, for Hall of Famers. We've got four of them that debuted in 1975. And here is Gary Carter in uh, near mint plus 7.5. And that's. That's a really nicely conditioned card as well. It's got a little bit of a soft corner up here, but otherwise really nicely centered and nice presentation on that one overall. 
going down to 1974, Dave Winfield and a near mint to mint eight. <clears throat> the card is a little bit off center left to right, as you can see. And that's what brought it down to an eight because otherwise this card is almost perfect. Uh, beautiful colors. The presentation is great. The corners are sharp. The, this is a really nice looking card other than the fact that it's off center left to right. So I'm happy with that. Take that card any day. <clears throat> Another 1973 tops now. This is Mike Schmidt, Mike Schmidt's rookie card. And by the way, uh, Ron Say was a, a fairly very good player in his own right, but no comparison to Mike Schmidt, obviously one of the, the greatest players ever to play the game. And there is his 1973 tops rookie card. Another 1973 Hall of Fame rookie card would be Rich Gossage, The Goose, another great closer. <clears throat> I remember as a Red Sox fan, <clears throat> when Goose came out, when they were playing the Yankees and, and Goose came out, that was it. Game was over. Very, very seldom do I recall um, him giving up a lead late in the game. So there he is. Rich Gossage, 1973 Topps rookie card. Now we're going to go down to 1972. We've got Carlton Fisk. Again, that's a, a nice looking card. And again, another very, very good player also on that card in Cecil Cooper. So there's that in a near mint seven. Now, Last two are both from 1971 tops. Ted Simmons and a near mint seven. Just a beautiful card. I love 71 tops and um, just a great set, great design. And especially when they're not all chipped up and off center, they look absolutely beautiful. So there's a nice example of Ted Simmons, a newly inducted Hall of Famer and another Beautiful example of a 71 Tops card is this Burt Blylevin and an Airmint 7. And Blylevin also was a great pitcher. Just looks like a kid on that card. <clears throat> and so that's it, guys. That's the, the Hall of Famers that debuted in the 1970s. There were 17 of them. Those are their rookie cards. I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate all the comments that you guys leave. I really enjoy that. So thank you so much for that. Have a great weekend and bye for now.